The Cypriot wine industry ranks 50th in the world in terms of total production quantity 10,302 tons, and much higher on a per capita basis. Although, chronologically, Cyprus belongs to the old world of wine-producing countries, the industry has gone through changes that place it more on par with the new world. The wine industry is a significant contributor to the Cypriot economy through cultivation, production, employment, export and tourism. Overview Cyprus has been a vine-growing and wine-producing country for millennia and wine used to be a major factor of the Cypriot diet. There is archaeological evidence that winemaking on the Mediterranean island may have existed as many 6,000 years ago. Internationally, it is best known for Commandaria wine. Most wine production remains based on a few varieties of local grapes such as Mavro and Zynisteri see table below, although international varieties are also cultivated. History The history of wine in Cyprus can be broken down into four distinct periods. Ancient Exactly how far back wine production in Cyprus goes is unknown. Wine was being traded at least as early as 2300 BC, the date of a shipwreck similar to the Kyrenia ship carrying over 2500 amphorae, discovered in 1999. Its origin and destination are unknown, but must have been along the trade route between Greece and Egypt. More recently, two discoveries have put that date back by a few more years. The first was the discovery of a Bronze Age 2000 BC perfumery near the village of Pyrgos. Near this perfumery, an olive press, a winery, and copper smelting works were also discovered. Wine containers and even the seeds of grapes were unearthed. The second discovery involved an intriguing sequence of events. Dr. Porfirios Dikaios, a major figure in Cypriot archaeology and once curator of the Cyprus Museum, had carried out excavations on the outskirts of Arimi village between 1932 and 1935. During these excavations, several fragments of round flasks were unearthed, amongst other artifacts. These pottery fragments ended up in the stores of the Cyprus Museum still unwashed in wooden boxes. They were dated to the Chalcolithic period between 3500 BC to 3000 BC. In 2005, well after Dr. Dikeo's death, the chemical signatures of 18 of these were examined by a team of Italian archaeologists led by Maria Rosaria Belgiorno. Twelve of these showed traces of tartaric acid, a component of wine, proving that the 5,500-year-old 5, vases were used for wine. Topic. Medieval to 1878 The history of wine on the island closely relates to its political and administrative history. During Lusignan rule, the island had close ties with the Crusader nations and especially the nobility of France. During this period, Commandaria Wine won the Battle of the Wines, the first recorded wine tasting competition, which was staged by the French king Philip Augustus in the 13th century. The event was recorded in a poem by Henry Dandeli in 1224. During the Ottoman occupation of the island, wine production went into decline. This was attributed to two factors, Islamic tradition and heavy taxation. Indicative are reports written mainly by French and British travelers of the time. Cyrus Redding writes in 1851, the vine grower of Cyprus hides from his neighbor the amount of his vintage, and always buries part of his produce for concealment. The exactions of the government are so great, that his profit upon what he allows to be seen is too little to remunerate him for his loss in time and labor. The quality of the wine produced also lagged behind times with Samuel Baker writing in 1879. It should be understood that no quality of Cyprus wines is suitable to the English palate. Topic 1878 to 1980. 1878 marked the handover of the island form Ottoman rule to the British Empire. British occupation brought a revival in the winemaking industry. Taxation rules changed and the local cottage industry began to expand. 1844 saw the foundation of one of the largest wineries surviving to date, that of ETKO by the Hajipavlo family. 
The Chaplin family at Perpeti was Hajipavlo's main competitor until the arrival of Keo, a company formed by a group of prominent local businessmen. Keo bought the Chaplin winery in 1928. In 1943, following a strike, a breakaway of trade union members from ETKO created a cooperative, Lowell. In 1947 the vine growers themselves created SODAP, a cooperative to protect the rights of the growers. These big four wine producers a term widely used to refer to KO, ETKO, SODAP and Lowell dominated the industry scene and survived to date. The first wave of expansion for Cypriot wines came with the misfortunes of the European viticulture sector. The phylloxera epidemic that affected mainland Europe in the late 19th century had destroyed the majority of wine-producing vines. Cyprus, an island with strict quarantine controls, managed to remain unaffected. As a consequence, demand for Cyprus grapes and wines coupled to the relatively high prices offered resulted in a mini-boom for the industry. Further demand early in the early 20th century came from local consumption and from the regional forces of Britain and France in the Middle East. Cyprus produced quality cheap wine and spirits mainly in the form of Cyprus brandy and the big four companies prospered as a result. The next big export product came in the form of Cyprus sherry. It was first marketed by that name in 1937 and was exported mainly to Northern Europe. By the 1960s, Britain was consuming 13.6 million litres of Cyprus wines, half the island's production, mostly as sweet sherry. A British market research study of fortified wines in 1978 showed EMVA cream was the leading Cyprus sherry in terms of brand recognition, and second in that market only to Harvey's Bristol cream. The island became the UK's third leading wine supplier behind France and Spain. A major factor was that Cyprus sherry was more affordable than Spanish sherry as British taxation favoured alcoholic beverages with an alcoholic content below the 15.5-18% bracket. This competitive advantage was lost a few years later with the rebanding of the alcohol content taxation. The fortified wine market also began to shrink as a whole due to a change in consumer taste and as a result Cyprus sherry sales in the UK fell from their peak in the early 1970s by some 65% by the mid-1980s. The final blow came when the EC ruled that as of January 1996 only fortified wine from Hereth could assume the title of sherry. The other big market for Cyprus wine during the same period was the Soviet bloc. Large volumes of low quality, mass produced, blended wines were sold to the Eastern bloc with the cooperative wine producers Lowell and SODAP taking the lion's share. This market began to dry up in the 1980s and vanished altogether with the fall of communism. Indicative of the industry's mass production tactics comes in a report by The Times in 1968 commenting on the end of an underwater pipeline off the coast of Limassol linking to tankers taking on not gas or oil but wine 100 tons an hour of it, destined for about 40 countries throughout the world. Topic: 1980 onwards. In response to the challenges faced by the industry the Cyprus Vine Products Commission began efforts to overhaul the sector in order to help it survive under the new circumstances. Reforms were intended to improve the quality rather than quantity of wine. Three initiatives were launched. Firstly, new varieties of grapes were introduced and financial incentives given for their cultivation. The varieties introduced were considered more suitable for quality wine production intended for wines more palatable to overseas markets than local grapes. Examples include grapes such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Carignan Noir and Palomino see complete table below. Secondly, incentives were given to create small regional wineries with a production capacity of 50,000 to 300,000 bottles per year. This intended to promote better quality wines by reducing the distance grapes traveled from vineyard to winery. The big four wineries were located in the large port cities of Limassol and Paphos so vine growers were forced to transport their harvest for miles in the summer heat. This had an effect on the quality of wine as the fermentation process had already begun during transport. The knock-on effect of this incentive also helped maintain the village population in the vine cultivating regions. Thirdly a new appellation of origin was launched in 2007. 
Topic quality levels and appellation system The Cyprus Vine Products Council has based wine denominations on European Union wine regulations and is responsible for enforcing the regulations. Currently there are three accepted categories, table wine. This is similar to the Vin de Table in France or Vino di Tavola in Italy. Local wine index which follows in similar fashion to the French Vin de Pays and the Italian Indicazione Geografica Tipica. Regulations state that 85% of the grapes used in the production of such wine originates from the specific geographical regions and from the registered vineyards. Vines must be more than four years old with a controlled annual yield per cultivated hectare 55 hectoliters, hectare or 70 hectoliters, hectare depending on grape variety. Red wine must have a minimum of 11% alcohol content whilst rose and white wine a minimum of 10%. There are four such designated areas, Lefkosia, Lemesos, Larnaca and Paphos. Protected designation of origin or OEO pi, standing for Oinoi Elenshominis Onomages Proelioses is the most prestigious designation and in theory indicates a higher quality product. It is modeled on the French appellation d'origine controlée, whereas the Italian equivalent is the denominazione di origine controllata. Wines with this designation must originate from registered vineyards of an altitude above 600 or 750 meters depending on location. Vines should be more than 5 years old and yield is restricted to 36 or 45 hectoliters per hectare depending on grape variety. There are further regulations dictating the grape composition and aging process. Topic: <laughs> Grape varieties. The climate allows for cultivation of most grape varieties. However local varietals Mavro and Zynisteri constitute the majority of current plantations. Maratheftico today forms part of ancient red grape varietals vinified by most wineries wanting to exhibit the singularity of quality wine in Cyprus. Table showing areas and quantities cultivated by vines for wines by variety. Wine Museum The Cyprus Wine Museum is located in the heart of the wine producing area in Arimi village. The museum is housed in the site where archaeologists have discovered wine dating back to 3.500 BC. The area has a 5,500 years history of wine making and is located at the crossroads of the Cyprus wine routes, in close proximity to the prehistoric settlement of Sotira, where the oldest remains of grape seeds have been found and near to Colossi Castle, a medieval commandery of the Knights Hospitaller that give the name to the Commandaria wine first produced by them. Photographic material and audiovisual presentations, as well as ancient jars, crocks, medieval pots, old documents and instruments can be found relating to the history of wine in Cyprus. <laughs> <laughs> wine routes Kumandaria Leona, Akamas Voni Panayias, Ambolitis Crazacoria Lemisu Pitsilia Nicosia, Larnaca Diarizos Valley Northern Cyprus In Northern Cyprus, the first commercial wine projects began with research in the 1990s, with Chateau Street Hilarion as a notable winery based in the village of Gesitkoi to the west of Lapta in Northern Cyprus. It was established in 2000, and with the aid of international wine consultant, Keith Granger, the first commercial vintage was produced in 2004. Today, there are two ranges of wines produced by the winery, Chateau Street Hilarion, the domain wine produced from grapes grown in the vineyards at Gesitkoi and Guzeliart, and the Levant, which is produced from grapes purchased from local farmers. Chateau Street Hilarion is currently researching the viability of using and introducing various new grape varieties to the island. Chateau Street Hilarion also has a range of bottle-conditioned real ales from St. Hilarion Wines and their Lion's Heart Brewery, which produces five types of ale, summer and blonde being the lighter-tasting beers and gold, pride and swallow being the more traditional English ales. <laughs> 